What's up, YouTube? This is 2Raw4TV. So back in September of 2022, LaShawn Thompson, who was an inmate at the Fulton County Jail Cell, was found dead. And his family wholeheartedly believes that the facility's horrible, horrific, and unsanitary conditions led to his demise. But the official autopsy came back undetermined. Well, former NFL quarterback and activist Colin Kaepernick is stepping up to help the family find answers, paying for an additional autopsy of the 35-year-old man, of the 35-year-old man, excuse me, who died under peculiar circumstances. Colin heard about the story and wanted to help, so he contacted Ben Crump, attorney for the family, and offered to, to fund a second independent autopsy. Typically, autopsies can cost between twenty to fifty thousand dollars. Aside from wanting to provide the family with closure, we're told Colin was and is upset about the conditions in which Lashawn, initially arrested for a misdemeanor simple battery, and other inmates endured. In fact, it's those disgusting conditions the Thompson family believes contributed to, if not caused, Lashawn's death. Thompson family attorney Michael Harper said of the cell where LaShawn lived and ultimately died, the cell he was in was not fit for a diseased animal. This is inexcusable and it's deplorable. The family has released several photos of the scene as well as LT's body which appears to be covered in bug bites. In the wake of the outrage over jail conditions, three high-ranking jail officials have stepped down with the Fulton County Sheriff saying, it's clear to me that it's time, past time to clean house, adding they're making sweeping changes to the facility. As for the timetable for the second autopsy, we're told Colin and the family have already begun the process of lining up the exam. And I think this is 2023. <clears throat> 2023. We're supposed to be making so many, so many advances and progress, but not really. Not in a lot of ways. We're going backwards. And it's all by design. 